Hey guys, um, it's Mac. It's actually Saturday morning, and I'm super sorry. I was supposed to make the video yesterday, but I ended up hanging out with my friends and um, falling asleep earlier than um, intended. Sorry, I passed out. Um, I meant to make the video, but everything was kind of just not going well yesterday. So, um, I just talk about religion and um, homosexuality and religion and this is actually a uh, this has been a really good week this is a really good topic cat like i'd like to just say commend you for that um i find it really interesting uh i grew up in a household where my dad is lutheran and non-practicing but like he, he still believes but like he doesn't go to church or anything and neither, neither do my grandparents i think it's just because they didn't like the church in their town but they still like they still believe I'm pretty sure they so they read the Bible and stuff. Um, and my mom is um Sikh or Sikh if you're in the proper pronunciation. But um so there's um we make up about three percent of the population in India. So it's the warrior class, like the the religion is very very it's really interesting. Um, it's peaceful, but it's also like warrior. Um, it's like trying to say give me a sec and I said give me an asexual give me a asexual. I don't know what the fuck auto crack is um it's really interesting because uh a couple years ago there was an Indian prince or like someone who was like royalty that came out as like he wasn't sick, but um, he came out as like gay, and it was like a really big deal. But like in the Indian community, like you just don't really talk about it. Um, same thing actually with my like my Lutheran grandparents. Like we don't really talk about the gay thing. Like it's just like not something that we bring up. Um, my cousins are they're kind of like I, I don't see, I, I wouldn't say they're religious, um, but they're kind of bigots. Like I grew up in a small town, so like a couple like they're not. My cousins aren't bigots. It's just they, they're, the way they look at um, homosexuality is a little bit outdated. Okay, that, that, that's a better way to say it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like the Indian church, I used to go. Um, it's all in Punjabi, so I don't fucking understand it. Sorry, like I'm bilingual, but I speak English and French. Like that's enough. I can't really like I can't really absorb too much more as a kid. Um, not that talented, but. Yeah, so it was all like it's like three hours and you sit on the ground with your legs like there's like so like so many rules like you can't put your feet up towards like the altar like things like that like you can't like look at like the high priest like certain ways like or like kids aren't allowed to run around. Men sit on one side and women sit on the other. That's like that's that's a big thing. Um are not allowed to sit together. And I don't know, it's just like it's really it's special. I don't know. I <laughs> I stopped going when I was about 15. Uh, I talked to my mom and I said, uh, like, I don't feel comfortable with this, I don't believe in this, and, um, I don't really want to go to church anymore. Like, sorry. <laughs> she kind of just, like, stopped with it. And then ever since I came out, she's, like, never really made me go. Um, it was really, really convenient. <laughs> my grandma's, like, a member of the board, too, so... Was like you have to go and like they want to see me and like they go up and they like they grab my cheeks and like do this thing. There you go, I fucking did it. Like um they do that and I did not like that. So I felt very uncomfortable. Um one because I didn't understand what they were saying. So uh I feel like if you're preaching at someone like I didn't know what they were saying at all. And um just like continuously and like repetitively hearing like those words is not helping like i don't know what message you're telling me because it's not in the language i understand like so i think it was kind of a new point um personally what i identify now is that my parents never pushed any religion on me like growing up other than like making me go to church like like that was one of my grandparents um so they never really were like oh like you must like you have to pray or like you have to do this um it was never that kind of thing my mom was never like Super like oh here's like a seek bio or anything like that. Like the only time we heard those like those prayers or hymns or anything was like when I was my grandparents. So um it wasn't so bad. Um I identify as agnostic, like because I don't really like making people angry about that kind of stuff. Um I have my personal views. Uh I guess that's 
I'm, I'm a lot more spiritual, and I hope this video is fucking long. Um, sorry, I actually really want to make this video, and um, I'm just going to go to the gym with Jeffrey, and he's going to get really mad at me, because I'm... Yeah, sorry. I love you, Jeff! Um, I am, a, like, I hate, like, I don't know why I hate to, like, tell you this, but, like, I feel like whenever we talk about, like, God, or, like, religion, or spirituality, people get angry, so, like, that's why I think it's, like, a good topic that we can just, like, lay it on the table, um, people tend to get really, really pissed off in my town, so you're, like, Bible Belt, like, religious, or you're not, so, um, I sat in between a lot of kids on my, like, in my debates, and they're, like, you're the gay one, like, you're, like, gay, or, like, super, super political, and, like, you, like, won't get on the side on the political, like, on, like, the religious debate, I was like, no, you know why, because, like, religion has, like, religion is just so powerful, like, it, it grabs onto something that nothing else can, and moves people in a way that nothing else can, like, that's a really, really powerful thing to get in the way of, like, I don't have an opinion on it, so I'm not gonna stand in the way of that, like, People are very, very moved by the religion, and that's not just going to change, so, like, I don't care how strongly you debate about what you're saying, like, you're probably not going to change their mind, and they're not going to change yours, like, why am I, like, that's my opinion on it, so, like, like that's not going to change either, like, keep trying, but, like, I'm not going to argue with you, like, sure, you're right, like, whatever, um, I don't know, like, whatever someone needs, right, um, it's a scary, scary world out there, and if, People look the need organized religion to um, get that feeling or that powerful feeling of sense of community and sense of oneness and sense like in the world and stuff like that. That's like that's good for you. Um, you found something that makes you happy, and I'm not gonna ever stop that. But I don't need that myself, so. Eh. Um, <laughs> made that seem very casual. This is probably the longest video I've ever made. There you go. Like. You get an actual vlog, I'm not even gonna edit this because I feel really guilty, like, but I'm, I think I'm really moving this along pretty well. Um, I'm very spiritual, though, like, I hate, like, and like, I, I hate saying that because, like, fucking people are always like, you're spiritual, like, I thought you were, like, super, like, no, okay. I kind of feel like it's all a bit of a coincidence, like, it's not too big of a coincidence, it's like somehow, like, some random happenstance, like, that we're just, like, here, like, that's not really possible, but, um, I don't know if I necessarily believe in organized religion, so it's that's kind of my point on that. Like I feel like sometimes there's like kind of just like some sort of force pulling us along in the like in the world, but that may necessarily be just like some big subconscious that we all are. Like there's like an idea in string theory that says that we're all kind of just like if like, you zoom out and like we're all just kind of like this one unconscious being, and we're just, like the Earth is a projection of our one imagination. And like, I don't know, like that's a cool kind of idea that we're all just like one big thought, one big movement. Like I kinda like, I like that, so I mean like